at the National Alliance of Business. Uh, people like Bob. I'd also like to give you a little word of warning. I know a lot of you are from the business community and you're from over 100 awards in what appears to be about two minutes. Uh, we uh, we thought we going to do the blocking as all of you running backs try to come up here to the platform and get your award. But uh, it is, uh, it's going to be difficult for everybody, of course, but we do a program and working with us uh, so that you get a chance to to sit and relax a little bit on the, in front of the White House and talk to your favorite member of the press. Now, <laughs> National Alliance of Business. To march young people in the summertime. Let's not sit on our laurels. The 17th Secretary of Labor. It's a newspaper, really, of what I consider to be uh, a tragedy, uh, and that is teenage unemployment, particularly uh, minority youth uh, unemployment. Despite 
the expansion of this economy, teenage unemployment still lags at 20% overall, but 50% for many of opportunity that we have. To feel that they're spending $53 billion when youth unemployment, minority youth unemployment was 27%, it's now 50%. Uh, percent. So the president's proposal, as Congress, and telling them it's a tool, it's not the answer, but it's a tool uh, whose time uh, is long overdue uh, have gotten. Thank you very much. Sit down and help kick off this 1984 to 1983 private sector jobs program. It's times like this that remind us America was built by people helping people. Numbers will grow. Couldn't get it in the Rose Garden anymore. Many of you will recall that last year a million Americans have found jobs and the unemployment rate has shown the sharpest drop or the steepest drop in 30 years. Now that's why when I'm asked to describe our economic program, I do it with three short words. Jobs, jobs, jobs. But we can't rest until every government, business, labor, or nonprofit organization can solve the unemployment problem, the needs of our young people, partnerships to produce real, not make work, jobs. Partnerships take advantage of opportunities to help state and local governments. This grant will give 718,000 young Americans valuable work experience. Mr. Austin Cunningham of Orangeburg, South Carolina, who is with us today, can tell you how well the targeted jobs tax credit program works. After he discovered time, even though the tax credit no longer applied. Now that's partnership in action, and everybody's better off because of it. What we're trying to do is to help our young people find that workplace. America's youth can develop skills and demonstrate their qualifications in potential permanent employers. But far too often, President and Mayor Marion Barry, the current president of the National Conference of Black Mayors, have endorsed this legislation gives of the National Alliance of Business for their continuing support in co coordinating the summer jobs program. Small businessmen and women all across America are opening their hearts and their business doors to American youth. And thousands of caring Americans like Roosevelt Greer and Dave Winfield will get a two-round <laughs> are with us today, but there are still far too many young people, particularly disadvantaged and minority youth, who cannot asking America's businessmen and women two questions. Do you remember your first job? It was summer, and there I was with a pick and shovel. And you do learn things, not only about you. <laughs> well, it's your turn now to offer the same opportunity, and you'll never regret it. And thank you, and God bless you all. Mr. President, and uh, to contribute and and we all have so much to give them and inspiring them i like it when people like yourself uh, help the young people because they think that no one really care about them they they don't see their future as we see it we've all grown up and we've went through our hard knocks and they're going to do the same thing but with your help they're really going to make it and uh mr president on behalf of the young people and these men here here is a, an outstanding award for a job well done. Thank you. <laughs> and 
and I wasn't acting at all. <laughs> but then there were some who said that I wasn't before. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, most of uh, my adult life, I've worked with young people. It's just been part of my ideological philosophy That's just, and sports and recreation. And recently, this past year, I was asked by the New York City Partnership and the uh, Daily News in New York City to uh, president on behalf of Summer Jobs 84 and at least 25,000 youngsters in New York City. I'm happy to present this Daily News recognition of your support. You know, we've, we've tried to not only get the thing I do know, aside from the clear benefits that the youngsters receive from these jobs, businesses really prosper from their help also. When given a chance, these youngsters will always do us proud. So once again, thanks again for your recognition of these efforts and your support. Thank you, Mr. President.